Hey, what's happening? So today we're going to go through Amazon Bedrock. This is a service provided by AWS that allows access to AI models. We're going to go through and configure AWS, making sure we have the right groups, roles, and permissions. We're going to go through Bedrock, getting access to the models. Then in Visual Studio Code, we're going to invoke these models. At the very end, we're actually going to do a cool application. Let's go ahead and get started configuring AWS. Do note that this is a proof of concept and a demo. Production setups may be different. First thing you want to do is search for IMA. Go to IMA. So we're going to go ahead and create the group. Uh, for here, we're just going to call it demo. And we're going to add in uh, permissions. And the permissions is under bedrock. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add uh, the read-only permissions. I'm going to create the group. You do have to go back in now and add in two other um, items. I don't like giving all permissions to everything, so I am going to just add them individually. Uh, here I'm going to go through Create Inline Policy. And I want to be able to add uh, Bedrock. And I'm going to go to the read and invoke. Invoke model and invoke stream. I think right now I'm just using invoke model, so, but I'll give both of them just in case. Um, to any of the models for foundational models, so click any and go ahead and do next. Create the policy. Oh, I need to give it a policy name. Uh, I'll just call it invoke. All right, so that's all good to go. I got my invoke permissions. I have all that set up. Uh, now I can go ahead and create my user. So I'm going to go ahead and create a user. So we're going to create a service account here called service and then call it bedrock. Uh, this allows us to make it like a service account. Uh, provide access. We'll go ahead and do next. And we're going to add him to the group called demo. Uh, which allows the policies to be as done. We're going to go ahead and hit next and then go ahead and create user. All right, now that we have our service accounts created, we will need to come back here to create our API keys, but we're going to move over to Bedrock uh, to start configuring some of the access to the models there. So let's go. We're going to go ahead and just type in Bedrock. Click that. You can either hit go started or the three dot three lines. Uh, then what you're going to first need is you need access to the models. So to do that, you need to go down to the bottom almost where it says model access. Uh, and then this is where you access your models. This is where you get all the access to uh, AI 21 Labs, Amazon, Anthropic, Cohere, Meta, and Stability AI. And there's probably going to be more in the near future. So to get started, just go ahead and click Manage Model Access. We're going to go ahead and add uh, just a couple of these. We don't need a lot of them and just to test out. So once you click a couple of those, and some of these, like if you do the Anthropic one, you do need to fill out a, a use case to get approval. But at this point, we're just going to go with those four. We're going to go ahead and hit Save Changes. The Amazon one you got access to immediately, and that's why I, we did this one. And then the Jurassic ones are there. You can probably hit Refresh. Uh, it still does say it's in progress. So we're going to go ahead and get started and move on to the other pieces of it. Um, but one cool thing you can do is in the playground, uh, you can click on playground text and you can play around with the models that you first did. So you can select the model. Uh, we did the Amazon one and we had two of them. Uh, they give you a little bit of explanation of how many token size they can do. We'll go ahead and just click this, go here, and you can just... Write your first prompt. Why is the sky blue? Go ahead and run it. And quick sample. Not very impressive. It will be when we do it in our code. So let's go ahead and see if we got our other access. All right. So we're going to start configuring our local system to enable AWS to call Bedrock. To start off, you need to open up a terminal window and modify your credentials. So on a Mac, those are located in a 
AWS. We're gonna go in there. And there's two files that they're gonna look for when it starts up their application. It's gonna look for credentials and config. We're gonna first modify credentials. So here we need to get two different values. We need to get the access and the secret. So let's actually go back to Amazon and get these two values. So from there, we need to go back into IMA. Went to there, you need to go into your users, go into our service account we created, and then go to security credentials. From there, you wanna scroll down, go to create access key. We're gonna go into local code. Go ahead and hit next, or just I understand. And just, just call it, we'll just call it keys. All right, so here's the two values you need. This is the access key. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this one and put it into our file. And then we're gonna go ahead and copy the secret key. And by this time you see this video, I have deleted these keys, so. All right, so those, those two values are now in there. You're gonna go ahead and do the exit, which is, X save credentials, yes. And oh, and then we're gonna just show you what's in config. Uh, the config one is whatever region you use. Okay, so that's all taken care of. We're gonna go ahead and get into the fun stuff, finally. All right, so now we're on to VS Code. This application is pretty straightforward, even though it's pretty powerful. Uh, it does go through here in the main section. Uh, what this will allow you to do is run, what, seven, five, seven different models, five of them text-based, one image, and one embedding. Uh, this way you can play around with a lot of the different models that Bedrock has to offer. Uh, and this first one was Titan. Titan, remember, we did register the model and we do have access to it. Um, so we can run that. If we try to run Llama right now, Llama 2, we didn't ask for access in AWS, so we would get an error on that one. So do make sure you have access to these models before you invoke them. Uh, we're gonna just go ahead and run one of these real fast here. I think one last thing I do wanna show, or one thing before we do, is the Bedrock Helper. So the Bedrock Helper, this thing right here, uh, da, 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 right there. This right there is what uses those config files, uh, the credentials and the config that we set up the keys in. This is what actually accessed that. And I did make a note there too. Um, you'll find a lot of these helpers just have a lot of different things to kind of make things easier for you to go through it. So one thing you'll see in here is I, I have a lot of parameter buildings because it's unfortunate there was no standard on the calls of the models. Um, so a uh, perfect example is tokens. Uh, so in AI21, they're called max to tokens. Uh, inside of Claude, they're called max tokens to samples. And then inside of, um, oh, this is even better. This one's called max tokens with no underscore. This one's called max, max tokens with a underscore. So good, good stuff. Um, so this allows you to build all the parameters on the fly. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with the app. We're gonna go ahead and Python and app it. Go ahead and run this up here. This is actually gonna go ahead and start up Bedrock, call out, and it runs through the system uh, as it was. Where it's getting that question is right here, your prompt. Um, what was the other model we had? We had access to J2. Uh, let me go ahead and uncomment that one out and run it again. Let me put, put this back here. I don't even know if that sentence even makes sense, but go ahead and hit save. And now when I run it, you're gonna find that it runs both models. That way you can compare some of the information. So I did put a streamer in here too. So it does do streaming and markdown. So if there is no markdown language in it, it will just stream it across. Uh, and if there is, it will highlight the markdown language. All right, so this application will allow you to run six different models in Bedrock. Super cool. Python, just run Python auto run. And there you go. We currently have access to Titan and um, AI21. Uh, so you just type in three for AI21 and 
type in your stuff. Why is the sky blue? It will automatically go ahead and respond to you. I did add a streaming feature to this one. It will either stream or do markdown. So once it's done streaming, if you want to switch models, you can. So just by typing model. So I am using a different account that does have access to all these um, six ones just for the demo. So number six is the image. Uh, and here I'm going to say a sunset over the ocean with a sailboat in the distance. <laughs> that is a beautiful. And one more last one. Create a polar bear in the desert drinking a cup of coffee with a nebula in the background. All right. <laughs> that is awesome. Thank you very much for watching.